Hey guys, so I'm back after a month or a month and a half. I don't know how long it's been, but um, it's been a lot happening in my life. So I kind of, if I'm being honest and fully transparent, I have been consistently like kind of losing myself and losing who I am, what I wanted who I wanted to be and that kind of thing in my life so and you know like I said before I've wanted to do YouTube forever so that was one thing I like lost motivation didn't know what to say didn't know what to record I just I was consistently like feeling like I was falling into this old dark place that I have long crawled out of so today I got off of work from my new job that I have started and I've been there for about a month but um I was just like you know let me just record let me just hop dive back into it I have some I have been recording just not posting so I have a video kind of and as wait let me first off as always I don't own rights to the music because I know YouTube's getting a lot more serious and like you know cracking down on like us using people's music so I don't own the music I'm playing but um so I do have a few videos of stuff I wanted to talk about uh, stuff that I've wanted to discuss I just haven't posted them yet don't know when I'm gonna post them um so a few of the one of the topics was um the young boy Nigel Shelby who committed suicide he's a young he was a young homosexual boy and it seemed like everybody was talking about it around the time that I did record it because it had just happened and I didn't want to like be hopping on the bandwagon because it's something that was important to me to talk about and I didn't want people to think or assume that I was hopping on it so I wanted to wait till people stopped talking about it to post my video so I can say how I felt about it because it didn't affect me I didn't know him but it's something that was important to me so um I'm going to be posting a video about that soon um what was the other video I can't remember what the other one was but it's I have a few more videos that I've recorded prior to this one I'm posting tonight but yeah so I'm gonna use this one this is kind of be like I kind of like my explanation is I guess I took a break and I'm trying to get back to me because I haven't gotten back to me yet but I'm trying to get there so hopefully with me posting and recording more and stuff like that uh, I can get back to feeling regular because I feel like I've been taking a lot of hits to my peace of mind to my family my friends have been going through a lot so it's it's been a lot and I'm trying to get back to what I want to do like losing my job and as you all know I've talked about it a thousand and two times I loved my job like I loved my job and the job I'm at currently I don't know if they're gonna see this or not but I really don't care for it I don't like it I, it's just I'll probably post a video about that when I'm done working there but as of right now I don't I don't like it so that and then the passing of my cousin sent me and my entire family through a really really rough time so that's been hard to deal with and then um just a few other like personal things i recently severed ties with someone that meant a lot to me but things weren't being reciprocated so i had to let that go but um yeah that was we've known each other for years but anyway whatever things happen so yeah i'm trying to get back to posting because i know it was a lot of people that actually do enjoy my videos and like watching it and stuff like that so i'm gonna get back to that so as for tonight's video wait can i just say so i don't know if i showed it already my, my mom made me this glass so it has an R on the front and then on the back it has my zodiac sign symbol and it has 23 because I turned 23. So this is like her birthday gift to me. 
She's supposed to be making me another one, but yeah. And then, so, I don't know for the, okay, so quick background real quick. So, don't know what the fuck that was. Um, <laughs> so, supposedly plastic straws are bad. Well, anything plastic can be bad for the environment. So, if you guys wonder why I'm leaning over to the table right here, and I just got off, I'm so tired. But, um, plastic straws are bad for the environment. Supposedly, like, sea turtles try to eat them and stuff like that. So, I know a lot of people have been using metal straws. One of my favorite YouTubers, Jeffree Star, he's, yes, he's my favorite YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers, he created these pink metal straws because he's always using straws because he has, he got his teeth done, so he doesn't want, my nail is broken. <laughs> he doesn't want, uh, people you know he doesn't know he doesn't want uh, the environment to you know mess up so he created these metal straws and they're pink because his brand is pink so I bought some for me because I use straws all the time too and my mom loved them so I gave her mine and I got me some more so as a surprise she bought me a pack of blue ones because you know blue is my favorite color so she got me a bunch of blue metal straws different shapes sizes lengths so yeah so I use I carry two of them around with me <laughs> extra and then um yeah so yeah and then i'm drinking it's not sponsored it should be but i'm drinking i don't know how to pronounce this my mom buys it but it's the watermelon flavor it's like sparkling water but um yeah also my friend said and i agree gopuff needs to sponsor me because i use gopuff a lot i haven't used it in a long time like maybe probably about a month since i stopped youtube for a while but um yeah, GoPuff, hit me up. We need to be sponsoring each other. No, you need to be sponsoring me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for so for tonight's video, I, me and Taylor have this strange addiction. Taylor uh, H have this strange addiction to Five Below. We haven't been in a long time. We need to go soon, Taylor, if you're watching this. But um, we bought these books. And they're like question books about yourself, like discussion questions. Um, so this one book, I was like, hmm, you know, I've been through a lot of different things these past few months. So let me not redo a get to know me, but answer some questions that might be different now. Like my views and things might be different because of the things I've been through the last few months. Because it is things that will change a person. So, the book I'm going to be answering questions out of today is 2,000 Questions About Me. And it was $5 at 5 Below. Again, not sponsored. It's 5 Below. I should be sponsored. But, um, yeah, so it's just, you know, it's a bunch of this 2,000 questions. Like, you can ask yourself for, like, if I was, obviously, I'm not going to answer all 2,000. But, like, if I have a group of friends, we do um the questions and stuff like that together but today i'm going to be answering some of them by myself i started answering them like writing them down so it'll be a little bit faster but i was like no this is kind of ridiculous so i'm just gonna read them and answer them but i'm gonna read my responses to the ones i've already written or answered rather um yeah i think yeah okay <laughs> i'm like blanking um, okay, so let's get into the 2,000 questions about me. So, the first question, well, I don't need to say first question because I'm not going to keep saying first, second, third. <laughs> One of the questions says, well, I can say first question. What is your idea of perfect happiness? I'm 23 years old, and... I haven't, you know, of course there's always somebody that's been through more than you, but I would say everything I've, my personal struggles and things I have been through, my response to that would be being at peace with everything, financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, like just being at peace is like, I feel like would be the perfect happiness because when you're at peace, you can get so much done, so much can happen. So I just feel like being at peace is the perfect happiness because it just means nothing's bothering you that's just my my opinion but um the next question is
what's your greatest fear i put losing my mother that's like something i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make through make it through um next question is what is the trait you most deplore about yourself deploring yourself I don't know if this is right because I didn't Google the word I should have, but I went back and forth with my grandmother for about five, ten minutes asking her what the word meant. She said the care, the trait you don't like in yourself. So if that's the case, I hate my my trait that I deplore or dislike in myself is that I overthink everything. I overthink. I think myself into anxious, being anxious and stuff like that. I hate that. So if I could get rid of that, I would love that. Um... What is my current state of mind? Hopeful. I would say broken and damaged. Um, kind of rocky. Like I'm not. Like now is not the time to get into it with me because I'm not really thinking that rational. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say those few words could describe my state of mind right now. Um. On what occasion do you lie? I don't really lie for real. Because I hate liars. I don't like being lied to. It's not something I like. So I try my best not to lie. Because I don't want anybody lying to me. So yeah. What is. What do you most dislike about your appearance? <sighs> my stomach. If I could get rid of my stomach. I will be fine. And then if I could get my teeth done. But my teeth aren't bad. But on one side, I'm not even going to show you. It's like one of them is on a slight angle. It's not okay for me personally because I'm like, I like teeth, like smiles. So it's not okay for me. <laughs> but my, if I could, if it, the one I most dislike is my stomach. Like I want to get rid of my stomach. Um, what is the quality you most like in a man? I guess honesty because niggas lie. So... I would say honesty like be honest like honesty I think um what is the quality you most like in a woman I love a boss female a female who knows what she wants who goes after what she wants is not scared to get it and not be scared to be called a bitch because she's going after what she wants I love a boss female and that's because my mother is one so that's the quality I love um, which words or phrases do you most use? I say a lot. Quote, quote, that is not it. Like, I say that a lot. And it's because I had started watching, I've always watched him on Vine, but, uh, I am Zoe or Zoe. He said that, he says that a lot. And so I started saying it just trying to be funny, but it, it's actually a part of what I say now. Or I'll be like, that is not an option. Like, those two things I say a lot. Like, damn near all the time. Um, who is the greatest love, greatest love of your life? I don't really have one. I don't think. Unless I say, like, a parent or something like that. Um, or what is the greatest love of your life? The greatest love of my life, not a who, but the what, would be New York. I love New York so much. I will. I w eventually would love to move there. It's just so expensive. But I want to move to New York. That's my ultimate goal. And that's something I have never let go of over the years. Um, if I could change one thing about myself, it would be the fact that I overthink. That would be the biggest thing I would change about myself. I would say... So this is, what did you consider your greatest achievement? I will consider my greatest achievement in today's society, living to see 23 years old. That and graduating high school and me, f well, okay. It would be three. Living to see 23, graduating high school, because that was really important. Um, and me starting my YouTube channel, because that was something that meant everything to me to finally like start doing. Um, where would you most like to live? New York. <laughs> um, if you were to die and come back as a living thing, what would it be? 
I would want to be something that could fly. Or well, my favorite animal, which a lot of people don't know, is horses. Which is why I like unicorns, because they're always so, I like colors. They're always so colorful, but they're like still a horse. And my favorite animal is horses. Like the movie Spirit is one of my all-time favorite movies. And my real, real friends know that. So that's where the unicorn comes from, because I love horses. And unicorns are just colorful horses. <laughs> um... What is your favorite occupation? I loved working in fashion. I loved working at Henry Bendel. I loved it so much. Like, if I was trying to go to Michael Kors, but stuff happened with that. But I loved working in fashion. So if I could do that and continue that, as you all know, I've said it before, I want to go into the fashion industry. But that was like my favorite occupation was fashion. Um... What do I most value in my friends? That's a good question. Because it's a few of my friends I've had issues with their actions lately. Um, hmm. Give me one second, I'm gonna come back with that. Okay, so I had left off at the question. My, what I value most in your, my friends is understanding and like just to see me because I feel like if you're my friend and you're a close friend and I say something you should be able to see through that or or to hear me beyond what I'm saying and maybe that's just that's just me because I'm so intertwined with my friends they're more like family to me a few of them are more like family to me so I can see them through what they're saying or like sense them in a way I feel like I should get the same respect. So just understanding, and so I guess that's all under the under that be under the line of understanding. Um, what historical figure do I most identify with? I would say off the top of my head because I always say it a lot, my, Malcolm X. Because I'm sorry, respect Martin Luther King, but I'm not gonna sit down and nobody throw shit at me. Sorry, not an option. Wasn't raised like that. So I would say Malcolm X. Who are you, who are your heroes in life. My mom and my stepdad have bailed me out of, I can't tell you how many situations, financially and just overall. I would, those two, I'm just leave that out like that. Um, my greatest re regret is my relationship with people that have passed because every time I have a death in like my family or whatever. It's been someone that I have lost contact with or haven't spoken to in a while. And I wish I could just have one more conversation with them. That's how it has always gone with me and I hate it. So that's my biggest regret is like my relationship with people that have passed away in my life that I have love and care about. Um, how, would you, how would I like to die it would be definitely I wouldn't like to have some sense that I'm gonna fall asleep, or that I'm gonna die when I fall asleep, but it, I would say in my sleep. Uh, what's my motto? I saw this quote on a in the graffiti room at Columbia College downtown Chicago, cause my friend Vicky was going there. And so they have a graffiti room where you can come write, paint, spray paint, anything on the walls. And this has been my motto since I saw it because I was going through something really tough at the time. I would, my motto is worry does not change the outcome. So no matter how bad you worry or how hard you worry, because I'm a worrier, <laughs> no matter how much you worry, it's going to be what it's going to be. And that's just how you have to look at stuff. It's, stuff is going to be what it's going to be regardless of how you feel or what you think or what you want to happen. So worrying doesn't change that. So that's a model and something I like to live by. I try my best to remember. Um, do I like reruns? Yes. Taylor H. loves to mention how I will watch a series 15 times. And I will, especially if it's good. I've watched Scandal five times. I've watched How to Get Away and Murder twice or three times. I've watched Being Mary Jane four or five times. Uh, I've watched She's Gotta Have It like twice. And a new season of that is coming out on Netflix. Y'all need to get up on it. There's a few other things. I've watched the entire Marvel Superman's, not Superman, but Marvel like superhero stuff countless times over again. Um, 
J yes, I will watch stuff several times. It doesn't matter. Um, have I ever won any kind of contest? No. I'm not a winner. And me and my mom were actually talking about that recently. I don't win stuff. Like, I don't win competitions. I don't win contests. I don't win prizes. I don't win sweepstakes. I just don't win anything ever. Even on a scratch off, I don't win my money back. Like, it's sickening. Or like Ayana say, it's sick. <laughs> um... I have two friends that's named Ayana, so, but I call one of them Yana and I call the other one Ayana. So I'm talking about Ayana. And they know who they are. <laughs> um, what do you think is worth waiting for? I said real love or a real career. Because you don't want to rush love and you don't want to try to rush to the top of your career because then you might get in something you really don't like. In both instances, actually. So both of those, I would say. Am I an organ donor? If so, why? Why not? I'm not, and I'd rather not go into why because I don't need somebody seeing this and trying to get me. But no, I'm not an organ donor, and I recommend if you you if you're of a certain type of nationality, you take that shit off of your uh, ID. I'm not an organ donor and don't plan on being one. Um, what is the number one thing that people are always asking you for help with? Relationships and friendships. I get a lot of those questions like how would I deal with a situation if I was in it like those kind of questions um have I ever given anybody a handmade present yes my mom all the time who hasn't done that like all the up through elementary school and stuff like that even middle school a little bit and sometimes in high school always have I ever eaten a full tube of Pringles yes that's like a 90s kid thing right didn't everyone do that <laughs> What are nervous, what are your nervous, what nervous habits do you have? If I'm nervous or anxious, I will not eat. I'm not eating nothing. I'm sit, just sitting there processing, spiraling. Like I will not eat anything, won't talk nothing. I will sit there. Um, what do you, what do you do when you and your, when you and your best friend get into it? When me and Vita get into it, I just won't talk to her. And I'm actually upset with her right now, but she don't watch my videos, so she probably won't see this, but I'm upset with her right now. Um, so we haven't talked. <laughs> me and Dominic will yell at each other and then talk at the end. Because he, Dominic doesn't listen. He refuses to listen and he just continues to raise his voice and he won't listen. So I'll be like, are you done? Like, can you just stop talking please so we can have a conversation? So we like yell over each other and then talk towards the end of the argument. Um, me and Taylor will call each other a bunch of bitches and Jimmy shut the fuck up and then that's that and then we don't ever talk about anything else and then we just move on. Um, I don't think I've gotten into it for real for one of my other friends. Like I'm with, don't need that energy but yeah that's a few experiences um what comforts me on bad days is i'm a big music head so music makes me feel better my being around my close friends and good friends makes me feel better like lately like i've been i've called my cousin shaquille my cousin nigel and my cousins in general i talk to just they don't I don't say I'm not having a good day but I like talk to them like just talk speaking to them makes me feel better and then um my aunt Beverly we've been talking a lot more recently so I'll talk to them and a few of my other aunts too um and then food <laughs> it's not the best but yeah food um Something you eat that other people would find gross. I will put cheese on damn near everything. When I tell you I will put cheese on damn near everything, ice cream is probably the only thing I wouldn't put cheese on. But you know what? If I have like a brick of cheddar cheese, I might like cut a piece, eat a piece of cheese and then put a little bit of, like if it's vanilla ice cream or vanilla bean, because I only eat vanilla bean. I don't eat French vanilla, regular vanilla, none of that. I like put some ice cream on my mouth and put a little piece of cheese. So I I'll eat cheese with everything. Sorry. Oh well. Um. Have you ever broken the law and <laughs> and didn't get caught? If so, how?
I'm actually not gonna answer that. I was gonna answer it. I wrote it down, but I'm not gonna answer that. Um, some things you fear might change you. Something I didn't know would could change me so bad, like it has lately. But death and like hardship. But I'm hoping it doesn't change me worse than it already has. If that makes sense. Like I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can grow and progress from situations and not dive into a really dark place, which is what I'm trying to fight now. Um, what personal personality trait in people raises a red flag? Lying. I don't do liars. Don't like them. I, I can't do liars. Um, have I ever resented someone? If so, for what? I've had a few, two I can think of, really close people in my life that have lied to me. And those lies have hurt me so bad that I have resent, resented them. Still to this day, I have slight resentment for one of them, but it's not to the point where it affects anything, but definitely for lying. Have I changed over the last five years? Significantly. What has been the hardest loss you've had you've, you've had to take? Uh, my cousin Pokey, who if you all know, I've done a video, I've done a video about a little bit prior. Um, but that, that was a loss is a loss I can't explain how bad that hurt like that hurt it hurt worse than me losing my dad because yeah my it's my parent it feels like I lost a piece of me but me and Pokey had a relationship we grew up together she was really like a big sister to me she wasn't just my cousin so that hurt and still does every single day so definitely Pokey was the hardest loss I've ever had to take um, do you like sunny days or rainy days? Lately, I've been liking rainy days. I don't really know why, but rainy days have just been good to me. <laughs> I would, yeah, rainy days, and I'm usually a sunny day kind of person, but I've been liking, like, the rain, but it's like when I'm trying to vibe with the rain, it's not raining. I don't know. Whatever. Um, what does my typical Friday night look like? Literally sitting at Taylor's house in her kitchen, Taylor H., with her, Ayana, and Domine, and we either drinking or eating. That's literally what I do. Like, literally. Lately, we've been going out more. We're actually supposed to go out this weekend. Because this is, it'll be Sunday night. So, we're supposed to go out this coming weekend, actually. So we'll see. But lately, yeah, it's really just that. Sitting at Taylor's house. Because we like, we laugh, we chill, you know. So, yeah. Um, do I like the person I'm becoming? I can vibe with him. I, I want to grow a lot more. But, I mean, I'm okay. This is bothering me. I don't know what the fuck this is. But, um... I want to grow a lot more and accomplish a lot more, but I feel like I'm headed in an okay direction as far as my personality. Look, I'm 23. I'm trying. <laughs> um, what's, what do I hate most about the dating process? And I think this is going to be my last question. Actually, no, it's a few more I want to answer. But the most, the thing I hate the most about the dating process is the questions. Like, I hate the whole, I hate the questions you have to go through to get to know a person at this day and age. Like, it's annoying. Like, I don't feel like saying a thousand two times when my birthday is my favorite color, favorite food, what I like to do. It's just, it's annoying as hell, so I just rather not go through it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that. I would say the questioning. That's what I hate about that. How emotional are you on a scale of 1 to 10? If I'm being honest, I feel like a 7 or 8. I try not to be. I'm really not for real, for real. But I can be very emotional and it pisses me off. <laughs> um, do I prefer chicken, beef, or seafood? Definitely beef. Because that includes burgers and steak. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about a burger. <laughs> Um, 
Have I ever had a health scare? Yes, because like I said before, my dad died from heart stuff and I had to go through a bunch of testing and stuff just to see if I was okay and that was scary as hell, so. Well, that's not really a health scare. Maybe, I don't know, y'all let me know if that is or not, but it was scary for me just to have just to have to do those to check. Um, what do I love most about the holiday season? Just the energy and vibes that everyone has. Like, I'm, I pick up on energy and vibes a thousand percent. So just, I love how people are during the holidays. Um, do you think a fling could be a good thing? First of all, that rhymed. It can, depending on the people in it. And I feel like my friends, a few of my friends who are in flings, it hasn't really worked out because of the circumstances. So if the circumstances are okay, why not? But if if the people in the circumstances are not good, then no, it can't be good. Okay, I think this is a good question to end on for me personally. What makes you lose sleep? <sighs> Thinking about everything you could possibly think of makes me lose sleep. Um, sorry, this camera is very <laughs> picks up on everything. But um I think about like my mother, my brother, my stepdad, my grandmother, my family. I think about Pokey a lot, like once a night at least. Um, I think about where I'm gonna be in a few years. I feel like what should I be doing in life? Like I, I think a lot at night and that's regular for people, but I feel like me, I think a lot, like more than the average person. Like I couldn't even list the things I think about like at night when I'm supposed to be sleeping so I've had to and this is not a plug or a suggestion for people because it's really not good I guess that's what I keep hearing but I, I tend to try to use z -Quil here and there to help me sleep because sometimes I really just can't get to sleep like I really like my mind is just too all over the place for me to sleep so sometimes I have to take those measures to be able to sleep um but yeah I would say those things just thinking about everything keeps me from getting any sleep. That's what I would say. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be my reintroduction back to me video, I guess. Um, but I did also wanna say it's not 100% right now. It was bomb when she first did it, but Ayana Gordon on Facebook she did my braids because this is not my hair <laughs> obviously my roots are not red but um she did my braids and she's really good she's uh she just started feed-ins but she's really good so she does my hair like that's the other thing so when we're at taylor's house we're either eating drinking or i'm she ayana's braiding my hair because i get it braided almost every two weeks <laughs> but um yeah, so hit her up because she's good. I'll put her name and stuff in the bio. In the description box, I mean. But I want to say thank you for those who have encouraged me to keep doing YouTube and keep putting out videos and keep, you know, having a voice and a viewpoint. I appreciate it because sometimes I need that motivation when I don't feel like I have a reason to post a report. So I appreciate it. But I will see you all in the next video.